this problem and this challenge that we have in Kenya, we require more than one person, require more than one institution. And my experience now, I have talked to various people from Shiba to Lamu, Mount Kenya, everywhere. And I'm trying to impact this to the Kenyans. First, we need to know the wildlife belongs to us. We have this notion that uh, the parks and the wildlife belongs to the white men. The wildlife belongs to us. And it takes first the information, be informed that we are losing our animals seriously. And the people who are killing these, they are denying us our heritage. How can we participate in this? First, be informed. No, do we need the wildlife or not? We need the wildlife, they are our heritage. Secondly, these are God-created animals. God created these animals with a purpose. There are so many people of us who depend on wildlife in this country. How can you support and participate in what we're doing? First, you need to be informed on what is happening and the opportunities that are there. Masai Mara area is the only reserve in this country that is directly managed by communities. It's one of the richest county in Eastern and Central Africa. And now being the seventh wonders of the world, people there are more informed than any other areas because they are able to see a one shilling coin from the tourist. Now, as we speak now, everybody can see a vehicle of a tourist. They are able to interact in one way or the other. Singing for a mass, for tourists to get something. So to me, they have been able to, to their, their, their level of tolerance, they, they are able to be closer to the wild, wild, wild animals than any other community that have been able to mingle with them. I am making a, a, an appeal to Kenyans that we have seen the people who are driving conservation in Kenya and there before were not Africans, were not Kenyans. It is our responsibility as Kenyans. We are talking of the problem in Kenya require Kenyans. The people who I have witnessed in Pokot, in other areas, killing elephants. They are my brothers, our brothers and our sisters involved in this. It is, our, it is a, a call. We are talking of in the next 10 years, there will be no, and we only talk about there will be no elephants. We are talking of not only just but the elephants, even lions, cheetah, hyena, animals that play a significant role in this country. I'm making this request as well to all relevant organizations, like-minded institutions, our national government, our county government. It is the high time we take stock of what we have and propel and manage our resources. Uh, we have seen other countries, South Africa, they are managing their resources when you involve everybody. It is our request that even us as Kenyans, we need to do the same and involve all kind of people, be it a hospital, be it a doctor, be it a policeman. When you lose an elephant, also you need to be part of the team that are agonizing, that are mourning for the dead of our wildlife. My name is Jim Justice Nyamo. I've only belongs to elephant, grassroots, education, awareness campaign.